The slow moments of a Beethoven third pattern concerto is one of the greatest moments of the music period. He was born with that natural curiosity and mystery and the feeling of the space and time. And I think very often in his music, time simply stops. To play this music, one has to live it for a long time. You start feeling the emotion behind it and the mystery behind it. It's just really a magnificent privilege to be a musician playing music like that. It just goes deeply into your soul. Last year was a very problematic year for all of us. It was unlike any other year I've ever experienced in my entire career. To have an unplanned sabbatical is not a very pleasant experience. Nobody knew what will be happen tomorrow or day after, you know, we just, okay, for a few days we'll just sit around and then life will resume. But it was not to be. Good girl, that's the girl, all right. In April 2020, I was walking on the street and I saw Annie and her husband Mike were walking their dog just in front of my house. And of course, I didn't recognize them and they didn't recognize me because we were wearing masks, but I didn't recognize the dog. So I said, wait a minute, I know this dog because Doc was not wearing a mask. I said, any? Then we shared our pandemic experiences, and then idea was born, I think, if I came out to Vail, we'll do something. So I said, for sure, I'll be there, just tell me when. It was a very unusual picture coming to Vail last summer, because the festival, of course, didn't take place, and I already have not played in public in several months, and the opportunity to play even for five people would have been a great event for me. But there was 250 people sitting at Ford Amphitheater, and it made me very nervous. You stop exercising, your muscles go loose. It's the same as performing, I think, that you constantly need to be out on stage to feel the stage and to control your nerves or excitement. For me, it was a highlight, you know, to be able to, to play for 250 people. However small the crowd seems to be in this huge venue, like Fort Amphitheater, it was still for me very, very special and music sounded so good, you know, that night for me. I will never forget it. You know, music is great and doing virtual concerts was great, but nothing replaces contact with the audience. This week I'm here and I'm very happy to see full houses and people having a great time. That really immediately changes the way I play. I think that music is meant to be heard live and I think that's exactly what touched me the most, that was this interaction with the audience. For me to play again in public is a dream come through after a long year that lasted uh, at least 40, 50 months. At least that's the way it felt. I must have played 40, 50 different events. Uh, either it's virtual concerts or it's uh, some small audiences, some big audiences, in some cases for full houses. So every country is different and every state in this country is different. What was important to me is to make sure that music continues no matter what. I would go to the end of the earth to play music for people because I think it's very important. If the arts die, everything dies. A life without art and music is uh, quite a miserable existence in my personal view. Therefore, I was insisting that I will play anywhere, and doesn't matter how to get there, I will get there. I'll walk there if I have to. Uh, I will hitchhike there if I have to, with a mask on. But that, that had to happen in my, my case, in my personal view, it's, it was very important and I do not regret it. You know, when the pandemic has begun, I say to myself, we don't know how long it's going to go. It's going to go for maybe for three months, maybe for six months, maybe for a year, maybe for five years. My job is to remain to be a musician, and my job is to become a better pianist and better musician. To 
use that time that you otherwise would not have free time to really work hard on yourself and not only kept you away from depression, but it also had a discipline about working every day. And I think that in a way saved me, saved me emotionally to go through this. I think music has this healing quality to it, and I think music helps. Looking back, I definitely changed my view of a lot of music, and I've learned a lot of new music, and um, I do feel there's a change in me. I hope it's for the better, but if it's not, I'm, I apologize. <laughs>